Reading has always been something that I've been into. Ever since I was a little girl, I just used to read anything that I could get my hands on. But as I grew older, I really didn't have the time to read like I used to, especially the past couple years. I just have not been able to keep up. I haven't had a chance to uh, enjoy video games and read and do all the great things that I used to. So for this year, 2012, I made a New Year's resolution to myself to actually read get back into reading and read 10 books throughout the year. And I've already completed one book, so I need nine more books to go. It's just a little personal challenge for myself. I'm sure I can get through it. But I just wanted to get back into reading since I enjoyed it so much. The first two books I have to share with you guys are actually mangas. And when I found out that a new series was available, I jumped all over it because I am a huge fan of the series on the Nintendo DS and that is Phoenix Wright. So I picked up Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Volume 1 and Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Volume 2. And these are official Phoenix Wright books. They're supervised by Capcom, so it's the real deal. Uh, they're written and illustrated by Kenji Karada and Kazu Makiawa. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but these things are amazing. The artwork in here is just awesome. Very similar to the artwork that is in the Phoenix Wright games on the DS. The one thing that I love about the Phoenix Wright series is the amazing narrative. I think the games are written so well. They're witty. I love the jokes. It's hilarious. A great cast of characters. And Phoenix Wright is one of my favorite video game characters of all times. I just think he's hilarious. You know, he's very charming. So, um, like I said, when I found out that a new series was coming, I just could not wait. And these things are supposed to be put out monthly. So I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on more and enjoying the all new adventures because these are based off of new adventures and um, new cases, new court cases, and just getting back into the groove of things with the crazy cast of characters. The next book I wanna share with you guys is a children slash young adult novel. Uh, and you're probably thinking, you know, you're a grown ass woman. You have no business reading those type of books. But honestly, when you are a fan of great storytelling, you know, and just reading in general, you don't discriminate, which is why I picked up a Brave Story. And it's written by Miyuki Miyabe. And this author is amazing. You know, people have spoken about her work and just said that she's an amazing author. Um, more recently, she put out Eco Castle in the Mist, which came out in August 2011. And I want to get around to actually um, buying that novel and reading that because that goes over, you know, basically the PlayStation 2 video game. But um, Brave Story just seems like an amazing novel, a great fantasy novel. Um, cool thing about the novel Brave Story is that uh, Brave Story, New Traveler for the PSP, is based off of the novel, which I thought was amazing. Um, in this book, you basically follow this um, teenager teenage boy who has a messed up family life you know I think his mom is an alcoholic and I'm not quite sure what's going on with his dad um, but you know his family life is all messed up and uh, he's not doing well in school his life just sucks altogether and uh, he comes across some magical mysterious world um, and in that world he meets like these crazy creatures and new friends and uh, the whole thing is that he's supposed to go through this journey and if he finds a certain number of keys um, he'll actually gain a wish and he uses that wish I think to um, better his family life which is pretty cool. Uh, it just sounded like a really really good fantasy novel and I'm not usually a fan of um, fantasy the fantasy genre I really don't get into that uh, but this just sounded so good that I couldn't pass it up you guys know how much I adore the Bioshock series I think I've expressed my love for that series more than enough throughout this channel and I was on Amazon I was you know browsing and I came across this novel it's Bioshock Rapture it's written by John Shirley and my mind was blown. I had no clue that there was a novel based off of the Bioshock universe. Um, this is a prequel, you know, to the original 
Bioshock and the author John Shirley as you guys can see here in the little 2K Games logo he partnered with 2K Games and Ken Levine so this is official stuff um, awesome awesome and apparently it's a really good book uh, basically it takes place prior to all of the events that happened in the first Bioshock um, you learn more about Andrew Ryan and how he became successful and wealthy um, you know how and why he made Rapture, which is awesome. I've always wondered why Andrew Ryan created Rapture. And apparently from this book, I'll be able to know that. Um, you know, why big daddies are there, why little sisters are there. Um, and he also, it also goes over how he meets and hooks up with, um, you know, some of the characters that we know from the games, like Tenenbaum and um, Sophia Lamb, which I think is really, really cool. So this is the next novel that I'm going to read. I'm so excited for it, and uh, hopefully they'll put out, put out more. So far, this is the only one, uh, but hopefully after Bioshock Infinite comes out, we'll see another Bioshock novel. Got my fingers crossed. So the last book I'm going to share with you guys is the sole reason I went on this little book binge. You know, I was in Barnes & Noble trying to use my gift certificates that I got for Christmas. And I walked by this book and it just popped out at me. And I just knew it was meant to be. It's Super Mario, How Nintendo Conquered America. It's written by Jeff Ryan. And I don't know about you guys, but I think this is an awesome cover for a book. It's just so simplistic, yet it gets the job done. I love, love this blue color. It's amazing. But all looks aside, this book is supposed to be really good. It's basically like a history lesson about Nintendo. It, it starts off before Nintendo even was making video games. And, um, you know, it takes off from there. Um, it mostly follows Mario and how he uh, was so iconic and everything, but it does touch on like Donkey Kong and Zelda a little bit, but I'm just so excited to read this. Like I said, I'm a product of the 80s and I don't really know too much about Nintendo history. I, you know, I love Nintendo games and I've always loved Nintendo games, uh, but I really don't know, you know, in depth how they started and everything that it took for them to become such a big company. So I'm looking forward to reading this book. Hopefully um, I'll get it done quickly and I'll do some type of review for you guys if you're interested in that. Uh, I just really, I'm excited to read this book. It sounds like it's going to be really, really good. So if you have any recommendations for some great video game related books or any type of books in general, leave them below. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's a little, a little different, something a little different, but thank you anyway, and I will check you next time.